Uh, Welcome back, folks. Laura here once again. We're going to go ahead and finish our uh, Zora suit. So what we have to do, first things first, head out the uh, easternmost uh, bridge here. We're going to be going all the way up to Plymouth, Plymouthus Mountain or whatever that is. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin it for uh, sake of ease. And uh, we're basically just going to ride these waterfalls up. It's really the easiest way to get up there. Now keep in mind there are some goodies to be had around here. Uh, quite a few silent shrooms. Uh, you're going to have some wildlife in the water, frogs, fish, etc. So you might want to take your time and pilfer the area. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and move along for the sake of time on the video here. And don't forget you're going to need the Zora shirt on for ascending waterfalls. So gonna, we're going to go up uh, the first two here. And then I'm going to head off to the right for a stone monument. It's not exactly part of getting the Zora armor, but it's on the way, so I might as well point it out now. And we've already found eight. Uh, we got the first eight when we uh, got ourselves to Zora's domain. And we are now on number nine. And do take the time to read all that stuff, folks. It's a great read. All ten stone monuments. It really gives you a lot of background in history. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. And it really ties in when you start talking to people in Zora's domain as well. Okay, so there's that guy. There's also going to be two big hardy radishes right here. I always like to point those out. Whoops. Because uh, that's a key cooking ingredient for extra hearts, especially early on in the game. Uh, when you only have three heart containers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself topside now, the third and final waterfall. There's another croc seat up here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the stealth suit back on. Uh, lots of loose shock arrows up here, and I've already got plenty in my game. But just in case you guys are a little shy, you need 20 for the Divine Bee, so make sure that you take a picture of one of these. Uh, simply, you know, pull the camera out, get yourself a picture of a shock arrow, and uh, get it in your condominium. And then all you have to do is target shock arrows. And now while you're running around up here, you'll go from one shock arrow to the other. Just keep in mind there's a Lionel up here. So don't be wandering around aimlessly looking for shock arrows and kind of forget about the Lionel and then the next thing you know you're getting bushwhacked. Okay, so there's Mr. Lionel. So with the stealth suit walk don't run you can almost get up behind him but apparently he heard me coming here so arm up, suit up, and eat up. And we're about to get busy here. Now this should be a pretty easy kill. It's not that bad of a Lionel. Uh, but I will go ahead and put my bone attack up on. And eat my attack power food. Just so the kill is quicker. Yeah, you can ride him too, by the way. <laughs> I think that's funny. Alright, so that's our red Lionel. Oh, I forgot the picture, guys. Picture, don't forget your picture. Uh, the lady down there in Zora's Domain wants to see a picture of a red Lionel. So make sure you got a good picture, as indicated by the red circle with the exclamation mark on it. That way you know you got the proper photo to satisfy a side quest. I can't believe I forgot that. That's the whole reason I came up here. I guess I get into fights and I just kind of lose my mind. Also, you know, for you picture takers, you can get picture of the weaponry. I think I mentioned that earlier. 
Alright, so that was our Lionel. There's not too much else going on up here other than lots and lots of loose shock arrows. So don't forget your shock arrows. Alright. I'm going to show you where there is a Karak seed. It's back here somewhere. I think right about here. And that's rough math. It might be, you know, further. I'll get over there and take a look around and I'll find it for you. I probably don't need the bone weapon anymore. There we are. It's the false wall looking things over here to blow up. Okay, so there you have it. Alright, so our next stop is Toto Lake. Right here in these ruins, underwater, there will be a treasure chest. So that picture will satisfy the side quest for the second piece of the swimsuit, or the Zora suit, whatever you want to call that thing. And the treasure chest over at Toto Lake will be uh, piece number three. Now there is another croc seat up here. I'll go ahead and point that out while we're on the subject. Okay, and it should be a swirling, glistening pile of leaves out here running around. Yep. Yep, there we go. And there he is. So it doesn't really matter where you stand. Uh, I do recommend this wall though, because the platform is a little wider. So you got a little bit more maneuvering uh, room for the pulling the treasure chest up. And there you have it. And that should be the Zora Helm. Awesome. All right, folks. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and warp back to, oh uh, crap, I almost forgot to mark the map here, where that treasure chest would have been. So go ahead and warp back to Zora's Domain, and we'll talk to What's-Her-Name and satisfy the side quest, and I'll show you who it was just in case you missed my last video. You don't have to talk to her first, all you really need is the picture, as a matter of fact, uh, on one of my prior walkthroughs I took a picture of the red Lionel at the Colosseum. And I came here and talked to her and showed her that one, and she accepted it, and I got my Zora pants. So it was really no big deal uh, which picture of the Red Lionel you bring, as long as you bring a picture of a Red Lionel. Okay, so we're going to have to go upstairs here, off to the left. Oh, before we do that, I totally forgot about... this side quest. I normally don't use Luminous Stones for anything other than upgrading the uh, Luminous Stone outfit or the Radiant set, but in this case you get two diamonds for ten Luminous Stones. So I normally don't do this, but the first time he's going to give you an extra diamond, so this time and this time only it's worth it. Other than that, I, I'd never bother with it, which is probably why I forgot about it in the first place. All right, so I'm moving right along here. Here she be. I have your picture. And you get the full Zora set now. So 
So that's it, folks. That is all three pieces of the Zora armor. Uh, the set bonus on that is swim speed up. I think it takes... God, I can't remember what materials it takes. I think uh, Lizzle horns and Lizzle tal talons and uh, Hyrule baths and possibly Hardy Bass. I honestly can't remember. It's been a while since I've even bothered with this suit. I normally don't even care about it. But anyway, it's there if you want it, and that's how to acquire it. I am going to head up here and see what this treasure chest is all about. I'm also going to find that final stone monument for y'all. So once again, we're going to head out the east gate. And let's see here. I'm going to cheat a little just to save time in the video here. Ten ice arrows, so uh, I would say that was worth the trip. Don't forget your Zora shirt so that we can ascend waterfalls. Oh yeah, another thing about that Zora helm, you can do a spin attack with that, so it's pretty cool for like Akaroks and things of that nature. Or even um, uh, Lizzles that might be out swimming around in the water. Uh, who knows what else you might encounter, but either way, it's, it's not a bad little deal. Okay, I'm going to send this great big tall waterfall here because I'm looking for that last stone monument. I think I have a pretty good idea where it is, but it's been so long since I bothered with this side quest, I honestly can't remember. Big tall waterfall here. Okay, so go ahead and get links. Two feet firmly planted on the ground, just in case I screw up, I can let myself drown somewhere and end up back up top side there. Okay, and if memory served, it was actually over here. Okay, so apparently that was not correct. Looks like it was actually over there somewhere. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I see it. Will he make it? Time to place your side bets here. That looks like I'm coming up just shy. No big deal. Oh, no, I made it. <laughs> I would have bet against myself on that one. Okay, so I can now correct that bad boy. He actually belongs right there. Alright, folks, and there you have it. Uh, tenth and final stone monument. It's a good read. Do be sure and uh, take your time and check that story out. Alright folks, so that's pretty much going to wrap up my uh, Zora's Domain, uh, Zora's Outfit slash uh, Final Two Stone Monuments video. Uh, we'll see you guys back on the next round. Happy hunting out there, and best of luck to you.
Oh, nuts. I have another treasure chest. Ah, uh, Suki! Get off of me! How the heck did I miss a treasure chest? Oh, I know where that is. Well, since we're on the subject, we're, we're gonna go get it. <laughs> Are you still recording? Yeah, that's okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and I thought I was done with the video segment here, and then uh, the beeper started beeping, meaning I forgot a stinking treasure chest. I'm like, oh yeah, I know where it is. I know it. I forgot. Normally, I don't get this until I come to do the big end boss guy. But I want to do a video for the map, and I kind of need it. Yeah. These stairs go on forever. Where are you? I am in Zora's domain. Mm. The fish people. Oh, there... I remember the fish people. There's a bed there, just in case you guys are low on hearts. Only you don't get all the extra hearts and stamina vessel out of that one. So there's our treasure chest, the one I forgot. Shame on me. And it's a shield I don't want. Whoops, wrong stamp. Okay, so there you are at the reservoir. And there's another croc seed here. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, right up here somewhere, puzzle block type. Alright folks, now I promise this time we're done. Alright, so once again, happy hunting, best of luck, and we'll see you guys on the flip side.